Hi everybody, this is Andrew from Launch27 and I just wanna give a demo on our new HTML email templates. Uh, now before, we had really just uh, only plain text email messages and they didn't look fancy, it just looked like, um, pretty much like you typed it up yourself, like uh, just plain text, uh, a lot of information, just you know, really plain, nothing fancy. And our goal for this was to not only uh, give you guys uh, a prettier, nicer looking email, but we also wanted to make improvements to the actual email editor that we have. And so I'm just gonna get right to it. If you go to settings here, and if you scroll down to the emails section and click on email templates, and if you click on um, the edit right here, and you look at preview, you can see what this looks like. So now you have like a, a, um, a picture, uh, different colors, different fonts, different sizes, you know, colored links and all this good stuff. And in a lot of these e uh, booking reminders and um, all the booking related emails, we used to show a lot of information here. And we just condensed this down to what we think would be the most um, information that would be most needed by uh, the customer and staff and the teams. And this is all still fully customizable as I'll show you right now. So if you need to click uh, edit on anything, you can just click here and uh, type it in. Just like the old one, it's just uh, this editor is now a little fancier where we used to make you kind of open up, if you wanted to use one of these special booking uh, tags to insert data about whatever, you'd have to go look up our documentation on, okay, what what's the proper uh, code to use for this and this and this. And now what we do instead is you can um, either choose, like when you click here, you see this little pop-up menu opens up. You can either choose this icon right here that says liquid tag, and then you can actually see all of the options that you have here and what they, what they kind of do. If you hover over it, it says, okay, this is the city for the booking address, or um, let's say the payment method, right? So you click on that, and then now you see that it's entered here. And um, so that's a lot easier than actually having to, I'll show you what that list used to look like, the documentation. And um, here it is on our site, and it was you know, just a long list of stuff, and you'd have to copy and paste it over and it, it just me it was just a just a, a, a lot less user friendly than what we have right now and um so we're hoping that saves you guys a lot of time and the other thing that we have here is that you can control how your emails look by choosing uh the master template uh the master template is just like a main kind of template that the contents of this email gets inserted into so it looks like this. So this piece out here and then the bottom piece is kind of the, what the master template is. And it, can, it, it shows that header and the footer content area, but it also controls the color, like this green color. And the way you can edit that is um, if you go to emails right here and choose master templates. And um, I only have one, so I can just edit it. And if I want to change my color to a, um, let's say a purple color, you can do that. And the text color, primary text color. So if you don't know what that means, you can just hover over these bubbles, it'll tell you. It's the font that's used in the subhead heading and the main call to action buttons. So uh, if you preview it, I'll try to show you what that means. And here you can choose which email you want to preview. Let's choose a customer one. So now like, so this is the primary um, text color and this is the primary color. You'll see that my links are this color now. And uh, in some emails you see like a, a, a big square button that'll kind of look like this colored background with a white font. If I wanna change that white font to be maybe a black, do that. Go back to this email template and there it is. So I think it actually looks better with white and I'll just keep it at white. 
and I know that white is just three Fs and just some um, save changes. Now, if you were to go back, you see there, we can already see it's changed. And there you go. Um, one thing I did want to mention was that you'll see here that we have these links, uh, like a phone number here and um, various social media icons. And now this master template uses the same kind of editor as this. So if you click on this and you can actually link it to um, your Facebook page. It was here. I can just put facebook.com slash Andrew, whatever. And you can do that for each of these images here um, in links. And then if you want to change your phone number, just highlight that. I'll change it to 202-123-4567. And um, this is, you don't have to touch this. It's going to pull it directly from your Launch 27 settings and uh, everything like that. And if you ever need to edit the code for your master template or your regular email template, you can do, you can go to code view like this. And if you're good at HTML, uh, you know, make your changes here. Or, you know, go back by clicking on this again. And if you ever make a mistake, just go back to restore default. Preview it. And there it is like that. And one last thing I want to mention, it's uh, kind of important. So if you go back to um, your email templates, right? And you remember I was saying that for basically the from the beginning of Launch 27, we only had plain text emails. And so everybody right now who's ever made a change to those emails or who uploaded their own special email templates, this will not affect you unless you choose to restore it to default. It will override your uh, your, your previous email um, content, meaning if you if you prefer to have the, the plain text ones, it's going to override it. If you had your own email template, it's going to override it. So be very careful when you use restore to default. And here uh, we put a, a disclaimer up for um, when we're going to make this change. Like it says starting September 2017, your template will be reset to our new HTML template designs. Are you sure you want to do this? So only do this if you're sure. Uh, we also recommend you, um, before you make any, if you try to restore it or whatever, you can go and um, actually, if you view the code here and just copy and paste this and save this to another file. That way, you know, if you make a, if you make a mistake or um, whatever, you can just roll back your changes and just copy it from your file that you backed it up to and then paste it back in here. And then things should go back to normal. So um, that's about it. If you have any more questions or any suggestions for improvements, please let us know at support at launch27.com. Thanks.